So here we go again with the water heater, hot shower thing I'm building. So this is the second day. This morning I got more scupper tube. It's like three meters here. There's two meters here, so five meters total. Should be enough. Also got a good thermometer. Well, this is a basic one, but I think it's better than the, the digital one that I got. Also, I need this to connect these two inside the bucket over there. And I also printed a new kind of a split splitter vent thing. As you can see, there's holes over there. And this is the kind of cap goes into it. I put some O-rings over there to seal it. So that directs the the water to there or oh, it's tight. Which is good. It should not leak that much. Let's get to work. So, I got this here, I drilled some holes to here, so that the tubes comes here, Pew goes to the divider, and there seems to be no major leaks, just a little bit, nothing compared to the, uh, yesterday, the old one, and yeah, I added some more water over there. So the fire is burning and the temperature is about 23-24 degrees Celsius, so let's wait and see. So the fire went down, it's still pretty hot still, it burned like 12 minutes, so let's see. What's the temperature? 26. So, 3 degrees Celsius. So, not that much. But I used only a handful of pellets. I could put twice as much so it would burn. Well, usually when it's full, it burns over half an hour, about 40 minutes, so that should get more heat, yeah, so that should make the water warmer, but, but this is only like 5 liters here, and my tank is 30 liters, but I'm probably not gonna put it full, like 20 liters, should be enough, I think I'm gonna try it again with a bigger amount of pellets and maybe lift the coil a little bit higher because I think the heat is on the top most of the heat yeah let's do that and hope it gets better okay so it's the second day or well, third day with the water heater thing I'm gonna show you how I've been working here for a while now but now I'm gonna show you what I've done first thing is this my vacuum cleaner that I had here well I got this from my mom she didn't use it anymore so I got it but the batteries were pretty bad so there was no power decent power suction power and uh, yeah, it couldn't hold the charge at all. So what I did, I opened it and ripped out the batteries. These are just AA batteries, so 
would have been pretty easy to replace them, but first I thought I'm gonna convert it to just normal DC 12 volt thing using my 12 volt battery, but because it uses yeah, 9.6 volts, but then I realized I got these batteries. And my, my drill uses, I got two of these. They are, they are 10.8. These are really good because they are lithium ion batteries. So, what I did, I just made this kind of a fix here. So I can put the battery in pretty easily and take it out. And why in a heck did I do that when I have plenty of uh, more important stuff to do? Well, because I knew that I'm gonna drill today. So I started drilling. So this is the hole for the tubes to come here and also I drilled a hole over there. So I knew that it's gonna be a it's kind of a sawdust and also glass fiber thing which is pretty nasty. So that's why I fix this so that I can clean it easily like that so yeah and also whoop, it's pretty messy in here now with all the wires and that kind of stuff I printed this a new cap for the tank because the tank is gonna be sideways and the original cap is gonna be on the side, so there's no use for that. So I made this one, it opens like this, and the bottom one is to mount it in place. So that's that, and what else? Well, I need, made a new shower head thing, and also I fixed the kind of a cap the turning thing for the divider over there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that all, but, well, I printed a new one because that one was a little bit loose, so it leaked the water to the other pipe also. It's pretty, pretty tight place here, but that's the back of my boat, the transom over there, cockpit. This is once under under the cockpit. So I got some shells over there. Most of the terrible wiring I've been done over there. Behind this is the motor well. These are for the bilge pumps that I got. That's the manual bilge pump. This is the port side. There's a lot of room over here. It goes up over there. So I'm now doing the wiring for the for the water pump. For the hot water stuff. It's gonna be the switch. And yeah, I'm using the the cable that uh, delivers the power for the uh, autopilot. So I just got that, and then I'm gonna do this kind of thing over here to grab the electricity to the water pump. You can see the water, the tubes going there. The tank is gonna be over there. So yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Sun is setting, and yeah, I got the water thing working, but it's not perfect. But I'm gonna leave it that, test it out, and then do some modifications later on. I'm gonna show you how it works. So, here's the switch for it. I'm gonna lift this up. There's the tank, and here's the 
the shower head so now it's directed back to the tank so I'm gonna put this on it's gonna circulate the water through the coil over there because I need to wash my hands I got a little fiberglass dust in it because I drilled a hole over here I'm gonna show that just in a minute but yeah so I can put it like this so I'm gonna turn the direction over here and then open the here. Yeah, there's more pressure. It leaks over here, so yeah, it's not perfect. It's good for now. Well, I can turn it off. That's how it works. So the other thing that I did was I drilled the hole over here and I put the anchor over there it's pretty secure over there it's not gonna drop yeah it's now a lot easier to throw the anchor because before I had to lift this up take the bucket where the anchor was over there the chain take it out and after that, throw it over there. And then when I'm, when I'm lifting the anchor, I need to get it over there and then turn it away, lift this up, put it in there, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was not that easy. So now I can just drill and feed the chain back into the hole and, yep. Yeah. I might do some kind of a block over here, cap. So yeah, I think this was it for the water heater thing. I'm gonna test it later on, show you the, the results, but yeah. For now, thanks again for watching and I hope we're gonna see you on the next video. Bye bye.